All right, hello everyone. In this ICT basics video, I want to go over the basics of time frame cycling. Uh, I'm obviously on TradingView, so that's what I'm familiar with. Um, time frame cycling is cycling through the different time frames in order to get a different picture of what the price looks like on the hard right edge, as in where price, how it looks right now. Um, and I'm going to tell you the different time frames and their uses uh, and, and cycling through them. So let's start from the one week, right? Type in TradingView 1W and hide the drawings. The one week is an extremely, like, we're zoomed all the way out and we're getting the biggest picture other than, like, the monthly. And sometimes I'll look at the monthly on the weekend. But the weekly time frame is giving you an idea of the, the biggest picture, okay, like the big stuff. Um, this can be particularly useful for models like, thank God it's Friday, uh, looking at the weekly candle on a Friday, for example, is, is a useful task. The, one, the, the daily chart is, is sort of your bread and butter long term time frame as the day trader. So the weekly chart gives you like the biggest picture. As we come down to the daily chart, uh, we're starting to see more nuance in price, we're starting to see more inefficiencies, more structure in price, and so the daily chart is kind of refining down from the weekly chart. Now, there are plenty of hours in between the daily and the one hour, but I don't particularly find them to be all that useful most of the time, so uh, sometimes I'll just manually type in 240, and that'll be four hours, and you're starting to see more inefficiencies, more um, more price structure, but I personally don't 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 use it that often. The next time frame that I, I quite often will cycle to is going to be the hourly time frame. So the hourly time frame, we're starting to see like a lot more structure, right? We're starting to see uh, we're starting to see sell side imbalances and buy side inefficiencies, and we're starting to see liquidity uh, on a more granular level, right? We're still not down all the way to like refining an entry, really, but we're seeing kind of our our session times now we're starting to work our way down 30 minute time frame is kind of our last highest time frame that I will cycle to uh, until we get to the 15 minutes so the 30 minute time frame you know again kinda like the hourly we're looking at session we're looking at sessions we're looking at hours at a time um, we're still down below like the one day but we're working our way down so you're starting to see even more structure and more nuance and you're starting to see you know, the higher time frames are more for your bigger picture. They're more like seeing the forest. And the, as you go down, you're seeing more nuance, more detail, and you're starting to see the trees, right? So you're kind of like um, focusing in on price fractals, uh, kind of like looking in on a, magn a magnifying glass, right? So you're working down from higher time frame draws on liquidity, and you're lowering it, lowering it, lowering it. The 15-minute time frame is the day trader's best friend because the 15 minute time frame, and I made a video specifically on this time frame, um, is that perfect balance between refining an entry, which is 10 minutes and below, and looking at higher time frame structure, which is 30 minutes and above. So the 15 minute time frame, I like to spend a lot of time on this time frame. Um, no, you should not spend all of your time on the 15 minute. Remember, this is a video on time frame cycling. So yes, I cycle time frames. Now, Let's get down to the, uh, so the 15 minute is kind of like your fulcrum or your midpoint, your turning point, and it's not really showing you higher time frame draws on liquidity, and it's not really refining an entry, it's just that kind of balance in between those two concepts. Now let's get down to the 10 minute and below. So as you know, I'm a scalper. I'm an intraday volatility scalper, meaning I'm not really trying to take out like daily ranges, I'm not really trying to take out long term trades at all. That's why I have every minute down from 10 minutes all the way down to one minute. And if I paid for TradingView Premium, I'd probably I'd get down to 30 seconds as well. Now, why am I doing that? I am, look guys, this is what I will do. 10 minutes shows you something. Nine minutes, it looks different. Eight minutes, that data looks different. Seven minutes, it's looking different. Six minutes, looks a little bit different. Five minutes, looks a little bit different. Four minutes, looks different. Three minutes shows you something. Two minutes looks different, and one minute obviously will look different as well. So I guess my point being, guys, is that the reason why I cycle through 10 minutes all the way down to one minute 
is I'm looking at the same price data through a lot of different angles because I'm trading on the hard right edge of the chart. Okay, I'm trading on this side of the chart, not in, not in the past, I'm trading in the current price action. So all the different ways that I can look at the same piece of price data, that's why I cycle through 10 minutes down all the way to the one minute. So these are all entry refinements and looking at the same data many different ways. So, okay guys, in this video I discussed time frame cycling going all the way from the one week down to the one minute, how you go from the weekly, the daily, one hour, 30 minute for higher time frame draws on liquidity. The 15 minute is sort of your fulcrum point where it's not really higher time frame draws and it's not refining an entry. And then I go all the way, I cycle from 10 all the way down to one in one minute incre uh, increments um, in order to see the same exact little price fractal in many different ways. So okay guys, uh, I hope that you found this video to be useful. Um, in this video I covered uh, time frame cycling. Bye bye.